Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. <laughs> Thomas Waring here. Toe and Lucia, San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. Hope this finds you well. It is Friday morning um, and we are at the beginning of October here. We had some clients in the office uh, yesterday and they were asking us about weather conditions in San Miguel. Uh, and I thought I'd just, you know, take a couple minutes and give you kind of a rundown of what the weather is like here. The first thing to know is that <clears throat> San Miguel is rated number one weather in the world, which is, um, I didn't quite believe that when I first came. I think I showed up here in May, April or May when I came, and it was so hot. Oh, God. But basically what we have is we have 10 months out of the year where the, where the weather is spectacular. Um, low 50s and low 60s predominantly at night. Uh, so single digit Celsius to about 15. And then during the day, 70s to low 80s, um, you know, as high as uh, 27 up to about 32 Celsius. Humidity levels are about 50% here, so you're, you know, remember we're right in the middle, not far from the equator here, so you're, you, you've got a lot of plant life here that is supported with um, varying humidity levels, which generally are in the 40 to 80% range. Now the two months, <clears throat> remember I said 10 months, the weather's terrific. The two months out of the year where things are challenging is the May-June time frame because it gets hot. I mean, it just gets, what do I mean by hot? 80s and 90s. Um, and it's hot at night as well, 70s at night. So you're, you know, it's your, uh, it's kind of the hot season, but it goes May to June. And then winter, which we're just starting, I mean, fall with the fall equinox obviously initiates that, but winter is characterized by the most spectacular temperatures there are. But then when you get into the dead of winter, we're 40s and 50s at night. So single digit Celsius. I have seen zero. I have seen minus zero Celsius a couple of times over the last 10 years, but not very often. And then during the day, you're 60s and 70s. But the difference is the humidity levels are 75 to 90 percent. And if you've ever been in a cold climate with high humidity, you know how bone chilling that can get. I had my son here last Christmas who's living in Montana, the snow capital of the known universe, right? And he froze his ass off here. I mean, he was so cold. So that humidity really does make a difference. Anyway, there's the weather. So if you have any questions or need anything, we're around. Enjoy your weekend or whatever you're up to. Take care.